more than seven years in development, the B-21 Raider nuclear stealth bomber has finally made its debut. Shortly after its first public appearance, experts predicted that the B-21 Raider's 9,600-kilometer range and 10-ton payload would challenge China. The opening ceremony held in Palmdale, California on December 3rd was closely watched in China. Next day, on December 4th, Chinese analysts said the strategic stealth bomber was an attempt by the rival United States to flex its muscles and deter China. Chinese military expert Zhang Xiafeng said that although the B-21 still uses the same flying wing design as the B-2, it has many changes in specifications that greatly improve the bomber's ability to hide from Chinese sensors, including reducing its radar cross-section and becoming evasive to more radio frequency bands. Zhang acknowledged that the improved stealth would give the B-21 stronger defense penetration and allow it to launch a larger number of low-cost alternative warheads on targets. He claimed it was cheaper than using non-stealth aircraft to launch expensive long-range missiles. The B-21 Raider was designed to be a subsonic aircraft rather than one capable of tight fighting maneuvers. Its disclosure and eventual deployment would be the United States' first viable recourse to China's vast logistical, technological, and doctrinal shortcomings in the Western Pacific. With calls for armed reunification of Taiwan with mainland China gaining strength among the upper echelons of the Chinese Communist Party and President Xi Jinping urging the PLA to prepare to fight and win wars, the U.S. has upped the ante. In this context, the B-21 is essentially positioned as an American superplane capable of deterring Chinese adventurism against Taiwan. China is also developing a next-generation stealth strategic bomber, codenamed the H-20, to match the B-21 Raider. According to some recent reports, the launch of the Chinese bomber may be imminent. In early August, two different images of the H-20 with some reference to the final prototype circulated on social media. However, due to the absence of an official launch schedule for the H-20 bomber in China, Chinese experts have developed a strategy to avoid an attack by B-21 raiders. Chinese experts have suggested that the large fleet of B-21s will pose new challenges to China's air defenses as they can launch stealth attacks from multiple directions, including the West Pacific, the South China Sea, and even the territorial airspaces of Southeast and South Asian countries, as well as countries in the Middle East. These covert operations allow U.S. aircraft to target Chinese command centers, bases, airfields, and missile installations, causing breaches in the Chinese military's anti-access and area denial systems. Chinese analysts eventually suggested that to combat the B-21s, China could use its bombers to target airfields where American bombers are based. It is unclear where the B-21 Raiders will be based when they are finally ready for deployment. However, Anderson Air Force Base Guam is believed to be a launch pad for the U.S. military in the event of a conflict. In October, U.S. Air Force B-1 bombers landed on Guam for the second deployment of long-range aircraft amid regional tensions over Taiwan. This is intended to send a message that the United States is working with allies and partners to deter potential provocations. In addition, all important U.S. bases are within range of Chinese missiles such as the DF-16, DF-17, DF-21, DF-21D, and the famous DF-26 Guam killer missile. These U.S. military bases are likely to be among the first to be destroyed in the event of a large-scale conflict. Military analysts have long argued that if Guam and Kadena are destroyed, U.S. operations will take a serious hit. China's military edge allows it to continue to fight domestically and shoot down U.S. naval and air assets while also incurring acceptable and predictable levels of material and human losses. As a result, the B-21, B-52, B-1 Lancer, and B-2 Spirit strategic bombers are expected to be at the forefront of the war in the Western Pacific. With China protected by a highly advanced anti-access area denial system recognized by the United States, the utility of the B-21 bombers to raid through them becomes even more enhanced. Zhang went on to explain that China has everything it needs to build a bomber similar to the B-21. China has repeatedly announced that it is developing the H-20, which is expected to have the same aerodynamic wing design as the B-2 and B-21. The arrival of the H-20 completes the PLA Air Force's plan to acquire a nuclear triad. 